All right. Good morning, wherever you may be, maybe afternoon, maybe evening, maybe night. My name is Glenn Trahan. We're working with COVID-19, so it's Work From Home Friday. Alan Brunicini, Hawaiian Shirts. You show up on a scene of hazardous materials and you see this placard or this placard. Sometimes it'll say flammable gas. Sometimes it won't have anything other than the flames, the number two and the red. Sometimes it'll say flammable. Sometimes it'll say combustible. It'll have the flames, the number three and the red. How do you know the difference? We're gonna do a mnemonic today. Every good firefighter ought to read cheesy magazines. If you just go back to kindergarten or preschool, every good firefighter ought to read cheesy magazines correlates to the number that you'll see in the bottom of the placard. Whether it's a two that's red or a two that's white or a two that's green, you know that two for good is going to be the gases. You know that three is going to be every good fire. This is my flammable liquids. But let's start at the beginning. If we start with number one and every, number one is explosives. The way I like to keep this in mind, every good firefighter is also flammable. So to make this easy to remember the order, if you just remember that outer space, big explosion, brought a bunch of gas clouds. We think about clouds here on Earth. We've got liquid cloud falling out of the sky. We keep going from gases to, from explosives to gases to liquids. We get us a nice little solid chunk of that explosive mixture. That's the easiest way I can remember to go from explosives to gases to flammable liquids to flammable solids. Now, we've got every good firefighter ought is my oxidizers. Now, this one will break up in a little bit. Every good firefighter ought to is my toxics. In some parts of the world, they call those poisons. Every good firefighter ought to read is radioactive. Every good firefighter ought to read cheesy is corrosives. We're gonna talk about these in a little bit as well. And finally, every good firefighter ought to read cheesy magazines is miscellaneous. I want to make sure that we know when we show up to a red number two, that we know that number two is gases. This isn't going to be in a puddle where we show up to a red number three, every good fire flammable liquids, this can be in a puddle or in a lake or flowing down the ditch. Easiest way I can remember this. Next most important thing, once we know the numbers, maybe even more, depending on where you're at, is knowing what colors. Number one, most important color we can see is gonna be orange. Just like the 
ERG that we keep in our apparatus or keep on our phone. Bright, we can't mistake it for anything else. Reason why people that go hunting on public lands wear the orange vests or hats. Orange gets your attention, you see it real quick. You wanna know if there's explosives because they may get you from a mile away. Gases, depending on which color you see, can show up as red, can show up as green, and unfortunately I left my white marker at home, so we're just gonna use an outline. If we remember that orange always explodes, red always burns. It always burns, no matter what red burns. If we remember green, green like green wood when you go camping, you don't want to burn green wood that you just cut down. You want to make sure that you're using good dry wood. Well, green, the reason why we don't use it is because green never burns. That's why your carbon dioxide extinguisher has the green label. And white, no matter what you see white with, white is poisonous. White is always poisonous. The skull and crossbones, the white that you need to associate with poison, when we're looking at a placard, White is poisonous. Now, if flammable liquids are flammable, I already said that red always burns, they're only gonna see a red placard. Flammable solids, you're gonna see a candy stripe, like the old school candy canes. You're gonna see a spontaneously combustible Solid red with a solid white top. And what that means is just like the solid, the candy cane red and white stripes, when you have charcoal burn, you have carbon monoxide. When you have a house fire, you have carbon monoxide. Solids that just burn produce poisonous gases. A spontaneously combustible. It's a big solid and all of a sudden it's not. It just blew its top, it starts on fire. That's a, it's gonna release poisonous off gases. The other color that you'll see with fours is the blue because we as firefighters love to put out fires. Unfortunately, one of the things that we love to put fires out with can at times cause flammable solids to become more on fire or producing more toxic gases. So they've warned us, don't put water on anything that's got a blue placard. Water colors, blue. The reason why we love this stuff is colors are easy to remember. I want you to remember that if you see yellow, hopefully you can see this on the video, yellow always makes whatever it's with worse. As far as placards are concerned, yellow always makes whatever it's with worse. Now, down here in Texas, or up here in Texas if you're from south of here, we have what are called coral snakes. So all my outdoors people know that when they see a snake that's got stripes, if they see red and yellow next to each other, the saying is red and yellow kill a fellow. Why? Because there's king snakes too that have red and yellow and black, just like coral snakes have red and yellow and black. The king snakes don't have the red and yellow next to each other. Red and yellow kill a fellow with a snake, red and yellow kill a fellow with an oxidizer, an organic peroxide, meaning red always burns, right? Well, the problem is yellow and red, when you learn your colors in first or second grade, you mix those two together, you get orange. And we said all orange always explodes. When these organic peroxides get to a certain temperature, their self-accelerated decomposition temperature, they blow up. So we, we don't like that. We get to our toxics. We've got a couple of different kinds of toxics. They're both gonna be a white placard. One is gonna be your skull and crossbones. One is gonna be your biohazard symbol that you see on your red bag on the ambulance or you see at the hospital, wherever you see those biohazards, here's what you have. You have infectious substances, Ebola, influenza, COVID-19. That's your 6.2s. 
your whites poisonous, whether it kills you right now with those 6.1s or it kills you in two weeks, three months, six years from now with 6.2s. Okay, I mentioned that white is always poisonous. Our first placard for radioactives is just a solid white. We get radiation poisoning, we get a sunburn, we go outside in the heat of the, all that UV light, that ultraviolet radiation light, and we have a headache and we feel a nausea. That, that's radiation poisoning. We go in and we have yellow on top of our radiation placard. We now have worse than just poisoning. So we get radiation burns. So I want you to see those very easy to see issues. On corrosives, corrosives are your acids and your bases. So if you can just remember your ABCs, your acids, your bases are your corrosives. So you understand what this is. Acids and bases either donate a hydrogen or they accept pull a hydrogen. And that's measured on the pH scale that goes from zero all the way to 14, with seven being neutral distilled water. pH measures corrosivity. The placard that you'll see on a hazard class eight, there's toxic, that white on the top, and then you'll see down at the bottom that, that earth black bottom, because this all happens because of salt. Don't wanna get into details, just remember that black on the bottom, ABCs. Last one that we need to worry about, are my miscellaneous. This is my other regulated materials, and what you have is you have jail bars on the top. These are regulated laws. If you don't have placards on your hazardous material transport and you get caught, you go to jail. There's the concrete, there's the bars. Hazard class nine is your miscellaneous goods. Remember, Every good firefighter ought to read cheesy magazines will help you remember what number you're going to see based on what has your class. That's Hazmat on Friday.